Here's in Thousand Oaks. <laughs> Hello and welcome. My name is Ken and I'm an AARP volunteer on, on Oahu. On behalf of AARP Hawaii, I'd like to welcome you to Holistic Harmony, Sit, Stand, and Restore. So um, let's see here. We have uh, some controls for those who are uh, not so familiar with them on the webinar, uh, webinar format. This is the picture of what you should be seeing at the bottom of your screen, uh, your Zoom screen, or on your PC, and possibly at the top of the screen of an iPad. Everybody is currently on mute. Please use the chat command to submit a question or comment. We will not be using the raise hand command or the Q&A command today. Uh, we recommend that you select speaker view rather than gallery view for this presentation. Uh, do this by clicking on the upper right part of your screen. Once you are in that view, you can change the size of the slide or of the speaker uh, simply by clicking and dragging on the middle bar. Uh, one other technical detail, we are recording this program and we'll re we will be emailing the recording uh, to all of those who have registered. AARP is a social mis mission organization with a membership of people 50 years and older. We promote issues that matter to families, including the creation of livable communities for people of all ages and abilities. We care deeply about making sure that uh, older adults have access to information and communication and experience so strong social connections that will help them age successfully. I'd like to, uh, I'd like us to uh, extend a warm welcome to AARP volunteer, Carl Powell. Powell. Uh, this is the first session of a four part series that integrates uh, <clears throat> seated breath work, meditation, qigong, and tapping. Carl Powell, Powell is a personal wellness coach and AARP volunteer. He has more than 40 years experience in training, motivating, and entertaining people all over the world by mindfully moving uh, these people to become more physically fit for life. Aloha, Carl. Over to you. Okay. <clears throat> Make it my music on and we'll get started. Okay. I was like, just make sure I have everything together first. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> We're going to start seated. So go ahead and just have a seat wherever you are. Aloha and welcome. My name is Carl Powell, and I've been in the business of working with seniors since the pandemic. Prior to the pandemic, I had another business. I was doing other things. When the pandemic happened and thing happened to me also, I turned 60. So boom, I'm 60. And I thought, what better way to give back than to share what I've learned. And I always think about aging with grace. I want to be grateful for all of the things that I get in my life and all of the moments in my journey. I want to respect myself. I want to be adaptable and be able to shift my sails with the wind. I want to be able to remain calm and centered. And I want this chapter in my life to be effortless. You know, aging comes with its own series of things that happen that we don't really deal with as well as we sometimes could or should. I'm going to give you a few techniques today or for the next four weeks that you can break into individual pieces. You can do five minutes one day, you can do 15 minutes the other day. If you love one exercise, you can write it down and just keep that one exercise. But I hope throughout the four weeks you'll stay with me and that we'll be able to learn and breathe and just enjoy aging with grace together. We're gonna to start a little away from the back of our chair. Our feet are flat on the earth. 
palms are up. We're gonna relax our eyes and we're gonna bring our focus first to breath. The breath here is deeply in through your nose. And then opening your mouth as you exhale and just release that breath. Relax your toes. Feel your feet rooted in the earth. Long deep breath. Feel your sits bones on the chair. Breathing. In your creative imagination, you're going to see a golden thread drop from the sky, tied to the top of your head. And then that string is going to gently begin to lift your head up towards the sky, lengthening your neck, lengthening your spinal column. Uh, Relax your shoulders. Long, deep, judgment-free breath. Just breathe. We're going to take a moment and get internal. And notice our body's stress, anxiety level at this moment. We're going to give our stress, anxiety level a number. Zero, all the way up to 10. 10 would be the highest amount of stress. So how are you feeling at this moment? Breathing. Relax your hands all the way up to your fingertips. Just taking this moment to enjoy our breath. Just taking a little pause in gratitude and respect for ourselves. Breathe. Just noticing how we feel. Let's take one more long, deep breath together. We're going to begin to move our fingers and our toes, find our body's internal focus. And then our relaxed eyes are going to open. We're going to interlock our fingers. Arms are going to reach forward. And then just look down, relax your head roots. And just open up the back of your neck. Long, deep breaths. Our eyes are going to look up to the sky, and then we're going to reach overhead, and then just start growing up towards the sun. So you're lifting out of your waistline, you're growing, you're breathing, getting longer and longer. Ah, breathe. We're going to soften our stretch, and our hands are going to float down along our side. We're going to lightly touch the sides of our chair, chest still up, and just take your right ear over to your right shoulder. And breathe, just opening the side of your neck. We're going to ease our head to center, and then we're going to change sides. Long, deep breath. Our head comes center. And now we're gonna make a half circle. So it's ear to the shoulder, chin down to your collarbone, pausing at your shoulder line. And then we're just gonna reverse direction. We're gonna continue breathing, letting our head just roll side to side. And you can choose the pace. You can go faster or slower. Long, deep breaths. Just sending some lubrication to our neck and breathing. Long lubricating our neck. One more time on each side, wherever you are. And when we finish, we're going to bring our head back to the center. Interlacing our fingers again. This time we're going to turn the palms forward. Push. And then just relax the weight of your head. And breathe. Long deep breaths. 
eyes look up to the sky, we're gonna reach overhead and then grow towards the sun. Think longer, breathing. Easy releasing. We're gonna shake our hands up, just send a little energy to our hands. And then we're just gonna relax our hands and bring our energy now to our feet. As we inhale, we're gonna lift our heels away from the earth. And as you exhale, just let your heels float back down. Balls of your feet are gonna remain on the earth. And then lift up your toes and separate them. Give them a little wiggle. And then relax them. And then just tap your feet on the earth. Tap, tap, tap. Starting with our roots. Pause, relax your feet. Heels rise as we inhale. Exhale because the heels float down to the earth. Balls of your feet remain on the earth. Lift up your toes, separate them. Release your toes. And we're just going to tap our feet. Breathe. Relaxing our feet one more time. Heels lift when we inhale. Floating down as we exhale. Toes lift up and separate. Toes to spread them apart. Relax them down. And then go ahead and just tap your feet. Breathe. We're just going to relax our hands. Our hands are going to reach up to the sky when we... Our fingertips touch. And then we're going to pull energy into our heart. Reach out to the side. Reach up. Your tips touch. Pull energy into your breath. Long deep breaths, just reaching. And your tips touch, hands float down. Do that one more time. Just reaching, grabbing energy, lifting it up. And then just pulling that energy back into your heart. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, relax your eyes. And just notice the warmth building in your hands. Long deep breaths. Being grateful for this moment. One more long deep breath here. Our soft eyes are going to open. We're going to take our hands behind our thigh, just pick up our foot, and then we're going to point and flex and really work on getting full ranges of motion and breathe. Balance starts with our feet. So just like breath is a practice, balance is a practice. Breathe. We're practicing. That's all we're doing is just practicing today. We're going to flex hold the heel and then just rock your heel side to side inversion and eversion of your ankle and having this flexibility here will help you from spraining your ankle breathe if you had a little trip you always want to be flexible side to side breathe and then with our foot we're going to draw a circle around breathe honor where you are And then we're going to pause and just reverse direction around. Breathe. We're going to give our foot a little shake. And then just relax your foot down. As this chain sides, just pick up your foot. And we're going to point and flex. Full ranges of motion. Breathe. We're going to flex and hold and rock your heel side to side. Breathing. We're going to create a little circle around. Breathing. And then we're just going to reverse and go in the opposite direction. Mind your breath. Enjoy your breath. And then we're just going to give the foot a little shake and place it down. For our next segment, we're going to do some Qigong. If you can stand, please do. 
if you need to stand for a little while and sit back down for a little while, the majority of the exercises you can do seated or standing. Or preferably standing because we want to build our leg strength. We're just going to start in a standing position. I'm going to put my chair over to the side. So we're going to start with our feet a little wider than our hips. We call that the horse stance. So if you're going to ride a horse, your toes are turned out just a little and your feet are rooted in the earth. Let's practice some more breath work. Lower Dantian breath. Our right thumb comes right below our belly button. Our left hand cups on top. Relax your shoulders, lift up your chest. Relax your eye. As we inhale, we're gonna fill the belly with air. Belly inflate. And then as you exhale, open your mouth, release your breath and feel the belly deflate. Breathing in and out of your hands. Feet rooted in the Long, deep, juggling breathing. Just breathe in. Relax the muscles in your face. One more long, lower Dantian breath. Our soft eyes are going to open. Release the hands and just give your hands a little shake. Breathing. We're just going to relax our hands along the sides. Shoulders are next. As we know, our shoulders are going to rise up towards our ears. As you exhale, shoulders relax. Hands float back down towards the earth. Shoulders open. Inhale as the shoulders rise. Exhale. Ah, shoulders relax. Hands float down. Inhale. Easy, melting down. So our shoulders, we hold a lot of tension in there. Inhale as we rise. And the shoulders have three functions. They elevate. They retract as you pull back. And then they depress down shoulder depression. So let's just practice elevation. Just keep breathing. Retraction and depression. Ease, inhale. Little baby shoulder rolls. Enjoying our breath. One more time around. And I'm just gonna turn sideways when you need to see that. Relax your shoulders with our palms. We're gonna push energy back behind us as we inhale. And then as we exhale, just let the hands float back down. Shoulders relax. Chest up tall. Just a little push of energy back behind us. And relax. Inhale, back. Twice more, pushing that energy back. Easy, relax. One more time, pushing that energy. And relax. Shaking our hands, breathing. Opening up our hand energy, we're gonna interlock our fingers and start to tap. And breathe, long deep breaths. So for a lot of us, we have arthritis in our hands. And if you notice you're touching a part of your hand, you rarely touch in between your fingers. So there's a lot of energy store system right in between that area. We're also gonna do that for the thumbs. So we're gonna go on in both directions. Side to side, breathing.
shake out your hands. And then just relax your hands down. Your hands, we're gonna form two cups. With these cups, we're gonna lift energy up as we inhale. Palms down, release the energy, exhale, come down. And then make your cups. Inhale energy. Flip over, exhale down, and form your cups. Inhale, lifting that energy up. Palms down, easy down. Lifting energy up as we inhale. Palms down, hands full of down. Twice more easy. Lifting. Palms down, energy down. One more time. Inhale. Palms down. Come down and form. We're going to hold our cups. We're going to polish the moon next. Knees are softened. We're going to inhale. Thumbs up. Come right in front of your chest. And now we're going to come roundly over the top of the moon. The top of the moon is round. Thumbs come in towards your chest. We're going to go back roundly over the top. And then come down and hold the moon. So we're going to inhale. Come roundly over the top. Back over, inhale. Exhale, hands float down. Make your cups. Holding the moon. Polishing the moon. Yeah. Over the top. Melted. Breathing. Cleansing the moon. Over the top. Melt. Once more. Easy. I'm over the top. Back over. Hands melt down. Relax your hands. Give them a little shake. And just gently let your hips rock side to side. Feet. Feet were rooted in the earth. And go ahead and just relax. Accordion. We're going to bring our hands forward like we're holding an accordion. You have to be old enough to know what an accordion is, right? <laughs> as we inhale, we're going to open our accordion. And as you exhale, you're going to push all the air back. Accordion breath. Opening up as we inhale. And push the air back. Long, deep, judgment-free accordion breaths. Easy. Enjoy your breath. If you just woke up in the morning, you did 10 accordion breaths. Just to get you started. Rise up. When you rise, just breathe. Inhale. Breath is a practice. Respiration is automatic. So we're not just respiring, we're breathing. Do just one more. Inhale. Pushing. Releasing your hands, give your hands a little shake. Side to side, feet are rooted in the earth. And then we're going to pause in the center and relax. Shifting our weights. We're going to shift our weight over to the right side as we inhale. And exhale right back to the center. Left side, bend the knee just a little. Inhale. Easy back to center. Side as we inhale. Shoulders are relaxed. Center. Side as we in. We're going to imagine that we're water being inside of a glass. Just relax your head and splash over to the right side of the glass. And center. 
And then the left side of the glass, relax your head and just breathe. Water contained inside of the glass, splashing side to side. Where's your breath? Enjoy your breath. Breath is life. Right? Breath is our life source. Side to side. One more time on each side, wherever you are. Breathe. Breathing. We're going to finish back in the center. Uh, and just notice how you feel. Breathe. One more long deep breath. Soft eyes open. We're going to bring our hands on our hips. Soften our knees for a little twisting. So we're going to bend the knee, go right, and then we're going to twist and look. And then come back to the center. Twisting and looking. Back to center. Twisting to the waistline. Enjoying our breath. Side to side. We're going to twist. Easy center. And twist. Easy center. Just practice. Enjoying our breath. Once more on each side. Breathe. And then easy, we're going to pause in the center. Shake out our hands, hips rock side to side. Breathe. Pausing in the center, we're going to tap both heels on the earth and just let your shoulders shake a little. Breathe. Just a gentle shake to start. Breathe. In. And then we're just going to relax into the earth. Right hand, palm up. We're going to pull energy in towards our hearts. And then your hand's going to float back down. So feel the weight. Pull the energy. And now your hand is light. It's exciting. Pull energy in. Light is a Pull that energy in. Light is a One more time. Pull. Light is a feather. Just cover your right hand. Left hand. You have your cup. Energy into your chest. Easy, relax. Pulling energy. Just practice. Pulling energy in. And release. Do that twice more. One more thing. Release and shake out your hand. Both hands. We're going to pull energy in. Easy release. Pull that energy. Twice. Pull. And release. One more time. Pull. Relax your hands, give them a little shake. Soft knee, into the 
right hand is going to be your cup. We're going to pull the energy in and lean over to the right. And then come center. Pull the energy in and lean. Twice more. One more time. Pull the energy in. And we're last with the right to pull out. Pull the energy in. Lean. And center. Pull the energy in. Twice more. Lean. Pull. And center. All of this is helping us with one more time, pull. And relax your hands. Okay, shake hips, rock. Hold center, little heel tap and shake. Shoulder shake, breathe. And then we're going to relax into the earth. We're going to add on to that. I will go slow. We're going to pull the energy in, rotate, and look. Palm is going to push the energy. Fingers down, you're going to pull energy back. Palm flexed, push the energy. Ray can pull the energy back. On your third one, you push the energy out. You're going to clear the sky. And then your hand melts down. Left hand, we're going to pull, lean, rotate, look, push, fingers down, rake the energy back, shifting your weight, rake your energy back, third time, push, clear the sky, and close. Hands or cups. Energy in. Holding down. One more. Time. Let's practice right hand pulls. Rotate and push. Fingers down, we pull the energy back. Push. We pull, we push, one more time, pull, push, clear the sky, and melt, left side, pull and rotate, and push, pull, Push, pull, and push. One more time, let's pull back. We push near the sky and melt. Both hands pull and relax. And we pull. Practice once. Right hand pull and lean. Rotate and push. Pull back. Push, this is two. We're gonna do it on our third one this time. Push, clear the sky. And melt. Pull. Rotate. Push. Fingers down, pull back. Push. Pull back. There's number three. We're going to clear the sky here. And melt. Both hands. Pull in. And release. 
one more time. Inhale. Easy release. Shake. Tap. Shake through your shoulders. Shake. Breathe. Pause in the center. Let's just relax our eyes for a moment and just notice how you feel. Soft eyes is going to open. Squat, squat. I'll turn sideways. Feet wide. You're going to drop your body weight behind your knees. It's going to be really small. Inhale. And then push into your heels and rise up. Body weight goes behind. Behind the knees. Low back is always flat. Three. Flat here. Flat here. Low back is flat. And as you get warmer, you can go deeper or not. Honor where you walk. Always working from a place of respect. Every day is a little different. Sitting back in here. Easy. Twice more. Sit back. Easy. One more time. Sit back. Easy. Our hands are going to reach up to the sky. Breathe. Ah, fingers are nice and open. Breathe. We're gonna add the claw squat. We're gonna do the claw squat and we're gonna push energy back behind us. Let's lift up to the sky. Open up. Claw squat and push energy behind you. Building quadriceps strength, which is important, and push back. Breathe. Easy up. Stretch. Easy back, push. Breathe. Inhale. Reach out. Pushing back. Ah. Legs nice and warm. Inhale. Push back. Ah. Do that one more time. Up. Push back. Rise up, shake and tap. Three. We're going to make two fists. Bring them into the small of your low back. And just give your low back a little rub and let your hips rock side to side. Breathe. Side to side. We're going to pause here, bend your knees. Hips go forward, elevate your heart. And then just stretch up and back. Opening your heart, chakra and your throat chakra. Uh, opening up our ability to love and to speak for ourselves. Breathe. Easy coming up. Hands on our upper thighs. And we're gonna easy glide forward until your body politely asks you to stop. Changing the direction of your blood flow. Take a breath. Uh, we're going to shake our head, yes, breathing. And then shake your head, no. Pause the head. Soften the knees, hands on our upper thighs, push into your thighs, and we're going to rise up. Two fists, small your low back. Rock side to side. Breathe. We're going to pause in the center. We're going to add a heel tap. Your two fists are gonna rub your low back. Just let your shoulders shake with you. Sending energy up your spinal column. Breathe. <sighs> Long deep breaths, tap, 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 tap. Build that energy up. We're gonna pause. Hips go forward, elevate your heart. Open up, breathe. Long deep breaths here. Easing our way up, hands on our upper thighs. We're gonna glide forward. Just until your body politely asks you to stop. <laughs> Relax your head. 
<sighs> Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Allow your head weight to dangle. Sit back. Hands on our upper thighs. We're going to rise. Two fists, a little massage. Hips rock side to side. Breathing. Pausing in the center. We're going to tap, tap, shake. Shoulders shake. Rub the low back. Breathe. We're going to pause. Hips forward. Reach up and back and just breathe. Open. Enjoy your breath. Easy come forward. Hands on our upper thighs. We're going to slide forward. Relax the weight of your head. Take a breath. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Allow your head weight to dangle, breathe. Soften your knees, hands on your upper thighs, push into your thighs and rise up. We're gonna interlock our hands behind us. Your hands are gonna reach down towards the earth, chest up tall, and then just bring your chin down to your collarbone. Long deep breath. Our hands are going to continue to reach down, opening up your neck and your shoulders. Breathe. Chin level with the earth. Both hands on your left hip. Knees softened. Right ear, right shoulder. Just breathe. Long deep breaths here. Pause your head in the center. Take it over to the other side. And just breathe. Ease the head, then the hands. Reach down towards the earth, chest up. Chin down to your collarbone and stretch. Breathe. Chin level with the earth. Both hands go right. Relax your shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. And just breathe. Long deep breaths. Head center. Change sides. Ah. Breathe away the tension. Our head comes center and center, reaching down to the earth, chin down and just breathe, stretch. (sighs) Chin level with the earth. We're gonna make a half circle, ear to the shoulder, chin down to your collarbone, pausing at the opposite shoulder, and then reverse direction. (sighs) Breathe. Working on any tension you may be carrying in your neck, just letting it go. Breathe. Side to side. Once more on each side, wherever you are. And when you finish, bring your head back to the center. Make our two fists to the small of our low back. Little rub. Breathe. Pause, tap, and shake. Breathe. Shake, shake, shake. Hands on our upper thighs. One more time. We're going to slide forward. Releasing the weight of your head. Breathe. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no. 
<sighs> Pause your head. Bend your knees, hands on upper thighs will rise all the way up. Get to the top and just gonna give a whole body a little shake. Looks like you're shaking up. Breathe. Center. Take it down. Breathe. Center. Take it up. Breathe in. Ah, it's center. Take it down. Pause, relax your eyes and feel your energy. Feel your chi flowing through your breathe. Shoulders relax. Breathe. One more long deep breath. And then our soft eyes, we're gonna bring our hands together and just rub our hands together. Feel that energy, that heat in your hands. So just breathe. Just creating that heat in our hands. We're gonna come out to the sides of the hands and just breathe in. At the wrist, you can rub them side to side or make circles. Just breathe. We're gonna tap. Breathe. Let's start with some basic ease that's happening today. Please make sure you join me because we'll do more intricate tapping as we go through the weeks. Breathe. Coming out to the sides of your hands. Breathe. Tapping the fingers and the thumbs. Breathing just the fingertips and the thumbs. Breathe. Just raising that energy. Four fingernails. Rub them. We have energy points right underneath our fingernails. So we're gonna get this all opened up. Fingers right into our thymus. And just lightly begin to tap. Relax your eyes. We're gonna breathe in. And release the sound when you exhale. Uh, letting go. Inhale. Uh, our thymus regulates our immune health. Our immune health. Inhale. Uh, breathing. Uh, one more long. Pause our tapping and just breathe. The right hand on our chest, touch your collarbone on both sides and then relax your hand. Left hand right below your belly button, lower dantian. We're gonna breathe from the lower hand, inhale up into our chest. And then from the chest, feel the breath move back downward towards the lower dantian. Breathing in and out, up and down. Uh, eyes relaxed. Long deep breaths. Just enjoying our breath. Breathe. One more long deep breath here. Our soft eyes open, rub your hands, holding on to our chi. Ready to come back and have seats. Have a seat. In our seat, our feet are rooted in the earth. We're a little away from the back of the chair. Breathe, feet rooted, palms up, relax your eyes and just breathe. Feel your feet rooted in the earth. Breathe. Soft eyes open. Left hand karate chop. Four fingers, and we're going to lightly begin to tap. Breathe. In. And then we're just going to relax our eyes. 
Even though I sometimes struggle with the changes in my body and my mind, I fully love and accept myself. I strive to deal with life as it is. Even though I notice the signs of aging, I deeply and completely accept and love myself. I remain grateful for every day I receive. I am grateful for the wisdom and the experiences of each new day. We're going to pause our tapping. Breathe. Relax your eyes if you're not already relaxed. Get internal. Notice how you feel. Notice your stress, anxiety level at this moment. Breathe. Giving it a number zero all the way up to 10. How are you feeling at this moment? Breathe. And relax the muscles in your feet. Enjoy your breath. Eyes right, so just relax. We're going to bring our palms together in just a gentle rub. Breathe. Long deep. Just a gentle rub. Breathe. Our soft eyes open. We're going to give ourselves a hug. And we're just going to be grateful. Thank yourself for caring for yourself enough today to take these few moments for yourself to breathe and experience the energy work. Breathe. Bring in some self-love. I love myself enough to take care of myself and to speak to myself kindly. Breathe. Soft eyes are open as we rub our hands together again. Breathe. Pause. Bring our hands into our heart. Make sure your elbows are relaxed, shoulders relaxed. And we'll take a few more moments for breath. Breathing in. Just take one more moment for yourself. One more long deep breath in together. Yeah. Right here, we're going to open our eyes and just say namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will be here for the next three Tuesdays, same bat time. If you have any questions, we're going to open up for questions. So please, if you have any questions, call me. I'm here for this. Thank you so much, Carl. We have so many positive comments that everyone enjoyed this time so much. And I was almost going to fall asleep, relaxing so much. <laughs> but uh, we did have a few questions that I noticed. Um, let's see. Someone has knee issues. Could they modify the movements in a chair? So uh, again, if you're having knee issues, it's always good to stand when you can. So if you can stand, stand. If you want to alternate, that's the best because you really want to still keep that blood flow going through your knees and give your, your holding your own body weight up is important. But otherwise, you can just take your feet wide in your chair, and eighty percent of the movements you can just do in your chair. So, oh, great! Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and when we breathe, do are we filling the lungs or the abdomen? Okay, in reality, <laughs> you're always filling your lungs because you really you don't have a breathing technique down or a mechanism down in your belly. So those are imaginary lines, but what that when you're doing your belly breath, that's just helping you expand your breath by pushing your belly in and out, but of course it's gonna go into your lungs. So any movement or any breath work that you do flows through your lungs, but you can also move it up and down and kind of just, but it's still gonna go basically to your lungs. Oh, okay, great. And uh, let's see, someone wanted to know the name of your music. 
uh, it's just a, a music that, that I, I bought online and it's just a it has no copyright so you, if you can find music like this on YouTube you just look up yoga music no copyright on YouTube and you'll be able to pick that right up oh okay great and um, is there a specific frequency of the music that you would recommend when we do this you know music is funny because music can bring your heart rate up or you can, it will bring your heart rate down so if you notice when you're doing aerobics or step or weight training generally the music tends to be faster because what you're trying to do is elevate your heart rate so that generally is 130 to about 150 beats a minute when you're doing mind body work or breath work you want to be down to at least 80 beats per minute so 80, 80, 80 beats per minute would be kind of minimum and you can go up to 120 when you're standing up and doing your rhythmic work. oh okay and then um there was a question if if um you have your videos for sale well, <laughs> yeah, if you want to go to my website, it's carlpowell.com. And all of my information is there. I have free videos. I have free. I have a lot of things that are simply free because my goal in life is to bring these things to you at a place where you can afford them because I know we're all at a different place being retired. So I'm mm -hmm. retired too. <laughs> I'm retired too. I get it. <laughs> awesome. And then um, there was a question. Was this a form of Tai Chi? So Qigong is the mother of all martial arts so karate taekwondo any martial art you do qigong is their mother and what qigong is qigong teaches you to slow down get in touch with your breath and match your movement to your breath to calm your heart rate and to, and to calm your mind and your body in any other practice then you move further forward and you start doing other things like karate, you, 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 chop, you know, you do all those different things, but all of the martial arts start with a Qigong kind of breathing workout to get people in place, inside of themselves. Oh, okay, great. And um, people asked about how to sign up for the next week and the future um, session. So there's a website, aarp.org forward slash HI for Hawaii. So that's how you would I sign up. It was really easy the other day. I wanted to see how to do it myself. So I just went to the AARP. I went to the search engine. I put in holistic harmony and it took me right to the page. Hmm. So that was very easy. Oh, wait. Someone wanted uh, us to repeat the name of your website. Um, it's okay, it's Carl. Carl, C A R L Powell, P O W E L L dot com. Okay. So please join me there. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. And then let's see. Okay. I think that was about it. If you have more questions that we didn't get to answer, you can email and it'll we'll get it to Carl. The email is h i a a r p at a a r p dot o r g. So h i for Hawaii, h i a a r p at a a r p dot o r g. So I think I'll let Ken go now. Well, there's one more um, I, a comment that I saw. And that was uh, registering for the classes. And yeah, you should uh, register for each of the classes and um, individually. Okay. I'm looking at the comments, so I'm just thanking people. <laughs> Thank you, too. <laughs> Your comments mean the world to me. They really, that's the reason I do this. I do this from my heart in no other place. So thank you so much. For Ken to put up his share screen, um, Carl, do you need to stop your music? No, no, he, he, he's no? Good, no. Okay. No. Okay, great. Uh, please uh, join me to extend a um, warm thank you to Carl. Uh, we hope you uh, enjoyed today's neighbor talk. We would like to, uh, um, if you would like to join us for other programs, Please uh, check out our upcoming events, and our our uh, link is on the bottom of this slide: www.aarp.org/hi. And that will. Ken, uh, I don't see I don't see the share screen slide. Oops, can sorry. You try again. Put it up. Try again. All right. Um. Actually, we can see it. We can you? see it. Yeah. I can oh, see you it. can. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. So 
the um, link is on the bottom left hand side and uh, some of our upcoming events uh, as as we had mentioned uh, on Tuesdays in August at 10 o'clock uh, holistic harmony with Carl uh, will be will be offered on the 10th we have an in-person self-defense um, class in Kapolei at 10 o'clock a.m. and on the 18th uh, we will have an in-person social security and Medicare program in Pearl City at 1.30 p.m. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, so uh, we'd like to thank you very much for joining us. We would also like to thank our speaker, Carl Powell, and mahalo to the AARP team that's uh, working behind the scenes. We look forward to connecting with you again. Remember, you can always find out what's happening with AARP Hawaii by visiting our website. Again, down on the lower left-hand corner, uh, the slash HI is important because uh, that will uh, bring us uh, bring up the uh, local programs. Even more local would be uh, replacing HI with Oahu O A H U. Um, so have a great day. Aloha. We'll look forward to seeing you again next Tuesday. And just as a reminder, uh, click the red leave button to exit the program.